Hi, everybody. It is December 27, 2018. Are you getting a little tired at man controlling your environment, your health, how you feel? I am. You know, we talk about Agenda 2030 and we talk as if it's somewhere in the future with man controlling every aspect of your life, these sick psychopathic elitist nut jobs controlling every aspect of your life. Well, when you control, when you control the health of the human being, control the health of the population via aerosol spraying that is toxic, the aluminum, the barium, the strontium, the lithium, when you can induce physical illness, serious medical issues, emotions, anger, anxiety, fear, depression in human beings, you control them. You control them. So that control that we think is coming in the future has been here for a long time. And I think many of you are now it's taking its toll, based on the comments that I'm reading. I have lived in South Carolina off and on for four years. One of the greatest things about living in South Carolina, and I live in Anderson, upstate South Carolina right here. I noticed that here in South Carolina, the sun, even on the days that it sprayed and you got that dimming going on, you still had the sun kind of coming through it. No other place that I have lived have I experienced so much sun. Now, the sun, of course, well, white, burning, all of that, but because I need it, I need that kind of light. I really, uh, I it doesn't, it's not lost on me. This past year, the sky, everything has accelerated. The spraying, the making of the humongous clouds, our sky has just turned into something so surreal that you would expect you would see headlines. Oh my God, did you see the sky last night? No, what you see what I did see just recently was a headline. Oh, how climate change is going to affect South Carolina. And yeah, did it piss me off when one of the effects, oh, the trees, the trees, they're going to die from a bug explosion. Now the trees have been dying for four years that I've observed. The fungal disease has exponentially increased, but it's been increasing every year. Now, trees are covered with fungal disease, and they're claiming it's going to be climate change and the bugs. Okay. Um, it's raining now. The horizon to horizon coverage of thick cloud has been, well, I asked a neighbor, I said, has this winter, the weather here been unusual? Not any hesitation. Yes, we usually get far more sun. Okay, I don't like man psychopathic, evil people controlling me. And they are. They control how I feel. They make it very time consuming, expensive. You have to put in a lot of effort to feel just halfway decent. And I'm saying this because I know that a lot of you are experiencing experiencing it based on the comments that I'm reading. Um, and I would love for you guys to leave comments, 
let me know what your weather is like. Let me know how you are feeling. You know, I don't know what is happening with my computer, but that's going to be another video because an awful lot is happening with my computer. My editing programs no longer work. I can't uninstall them. When I try to use them, my computer crashes. When I try to uninstall them, my computer crashes. And the satellite, the, the, the uh, videos that I captured of this particular site in the last couple of days, they're all gone. A subscriber sent me the link to this site. This um, It's the next red reflectivity, the National High Resolution Relac uh, Reflectivity Composite Loop because she saw an awful lot of frequencies being set off right here in South Carolina. Well, I got on it. I captured it, saved it. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. Well, these frequencies are really doing an awful lot of damage. And the toll, these frequencies, the aerosol spraying, just those two things, the toll is increasing. I see it in the trees. I see it in the cats. I see it in the people. It's not good. The amount of aerosols being sprayed just this past year has really increased to a level that I've never had allergies. In the past 10 days, I've had about five or six allergy attacks. One lasted 36 hours, could not stop sneezing. Hey, the cats, so many of them are sneezing. They've got black in their nose, around their nose. Got a comment from a subscriber who said that he noticed, and, and this was a young guy, he noticed that there was a lot of black. He had cleaned out his nose. There was a tremendous amount of black. Same thing with me. The black carbon dust, the coal ash, used to modify the weather. We are now saturated. There might be pockets somewhere where the saturation is less. But this is Anderson, South Carolina. This is what we see pretty much every night, unless they do that horizon to horizon, full coverage. This is our evening sky now, all of the pink. The lithium, the saturation, it's now just part of our atmosphere. And we get to breathe it in. And because I don't have an editing program, I'm going to pause you because I want to bring up another video. Even when there's just a small little break in that horizon to horizon coverage, there it is. There it is. All over our sky now. This is now our common sky. When it was not our common sky not too long ago. So they have dumped us with an awful lot. And I do believe that that is lithium. Um, and here it is again. It is now just a common occurrence. Uh, we either have this bizarre orange gold or the pink or the black and Oh, isn't it interesting that yesterday there was a tremendous amount of black carbon dust. And here we have the rain. Okay. Breathing in all of this, it takes its toll. Yeah, this was uh, last night. Or early evening or whatever. We were saturated with black carbon dust. Now, don't throw down your comment claiming it's coal ash that you have to argue with me. It might be a combination of both. 
but the plaque carbon dust is a substance that they have been using to modify the weather for a long time. Is it really a wonder that people are, are um, blowing their nose and an awful lot of black comes out? Is it really a surprise that the cats, their nose, they, they're covered with black and they're sick. They're sneezing, they're coughing. All right, I have noticed something different, which is the use of the microwaves. Now, these signatures right down here, which let me um, zoom in for you. I have been seeing this, I started seeing it with the storms in Oregon and Washington last week. Now here they are again. You see these little bands of precipitation, evenly spaced, the microwaves. They are using the microwaves more frequently to modify the weather. And the use of these microwaves cause an awful lot of problems for life not just humans and make us feel not good induce an awful lot of emotions anxiety fear uh, depression anger and I will tell you uh, something really very different has gone on this past year. I'm seeing it all over the place. The trees, the, the, the amount of fungal disease is extraordinary. The lack of sun here in South Carolina has been noticeable. Um, everything is accelerating. The cats yesterday were bonkers. The cat that decided to make me her caretaker, the feral cat, is still kind of feral with other people, but not with me. She'll jump all over me and it has no fear. Well, yesterday she was hiding underneath the couch. Never have I seen that. Acting really skittish. And I mean going in and out, in, out, in, out. And I have to let them out or in because they'll sit there meowing or hitting the screen at the window. Um, and the other cat that decided to make my apartment his home has been coughing, has been sneezing. You know, the, the the toll of man, um, the toll of man's behavior is really increasing. It's being felt not just with me, but other neighbors, um, people behaving in ways that make people uh, anxious, fearful, angry. Two more cats showed up, obviously domesticated. One of them just walked right into my apartment. Uh, two black cats, one I can't. They showed up a couple of days ago. They were obviously dumped or left behind by someone who moved. One had a collar on him that you couldn't even get a finger through. It was so tight. He obviously was trying to scratch it off because it was all ripped up. People abandoning pets. 
the toll that that takes on other people. Now, I know an awful lot of people can just ignore it. Those of us who can't, well, so now it's about 24 cats just in my little, oh, uh, well, it's my little, little, little uh, area out front my box, little area outside my neighbor's box. That's what I call the front yard uh, and the apartment, but and then that little, little bit of parking lot, 24. So it was 22, now it's 24. Well, now it's 23 because one of the cats disappeared, didn't make it, got killed by a coyote, I don't know. But the emotional toll on me and that neighbor who cares is great because when you abandon a pet, and I have to look at that. It does really upset me. But now you have abandoned your pet. And the people who care can't ignore it. So you who don't care, you have now burdened somebody else. It's not the cat's fault. But it's an expense. And then when you look at all of the effects that the aerosol spraying, the frequencies are having, just those two assaults on us, you know, basic functioning, exhaustion, basic functioning, it's like you're brought down to just trying your best to feel halfway decent. And then they increase the frequencies and then it's even harder. Your basic functioning has become something of a real challenge. You feel like shit. And then people, because of their shitty behavior, I mean, the toll is really getting very hard. Now, why it is we can't get through to people, I don't know. Because, well, you could take a look at this site and you should be able to tell that something is not quite right. All right, so you have the extremely low frequencies, you have the microwaves, you have the high frequency heating from the Doppler radar, but these thousands of miles of storm, now that's common. When we didn't have these before, now, I mean yesterday, 24 hours ago, it was here it's moved a little bit east, but it was right in the Gulf, going through like Central America on up to Canada. Here it is, still hasn't moved much out of like Minnesota and these states. Uh, I think um, South Dakota got really hit hard. Let me know what the weather is in your area. Um, but this constant rain, this Look at the, the, the forecast for Anderson, South Carolina. This is highly unusual. So, what's today? Rain and Friday. Thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. Rain, rain, r rain, rain. Um, rain all the way until next Friday. Sunny. Well, uh, not too long ago, you had sunny, 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 oh, rain, sunny, sunny. Now they flipped it around and people are feeling it. The saturation of the soil, the trees being so sick, you know, look at the ripple effect. Um, you know, we, we think that the news that we get is what's going on. It's not. So you have... All of this rain, you have sick trees. A tree that is sick will very easily topple in saturated soil, hitting a house. Oh, ripple effect on that person. But this is man doing it. It is not Mother Nature. That's why, yeah, it really pisses me off. You know, it's one thing to accept weather 
when it was Mother Nature. You just do it. I mean, it, you know, it's not, you know, <laughs> what are you going to do? Well, but it's man doing this now. Man doing it. So when you think about, you know, what happens to one person, then just extend it out into the population, you have a lot of sick people. Um, and animals are getting sick. So you have people sick, and then their animals are getting sick, and taxes are going up, and you have all of these assaults going on. You have constant rain or no sun. You have frequencies that are uh, controlling your emotions. And there are a lot of people who just don't have the money to properly take care of themselves. But there's a lot of people I know that do have the money and they've incurred quite an expense in their de detoxing and trying their best and still feel like shit. Um, you got the next red Doppler radar, the high frequency heating, these perfect rings that are intersecting. Um, you have the extremely low frequencies controlling this, and you have the microwaves. You've got an awful lot of extremely low frequencies being set off in Louisiana, so how are you guys feeling there? Uh, being set off in Houston area, which is just a given. Um, but look at the microwaves right here. All of these strips of precipitation right here are signatures of microwaves being used. And you can see all of the spraying. Let me speed this up a bit. Look at all of the spraying down here off the coast. Uh, up in, uh, I guess, off the coast of Nova Scotia and Canada. Um, but look at all of these microwaves. And you can see the high frequency heating signature in all of this red. They're heating this up. They're controlling this weather. Um, oh boy, it does get a little, well, let's just say annoying. Um, pretty obvious. Look at all the microwaves going through this. You see them right up here, all those ripples. Microwaves, how are you guys feeling in uh, Louisiana and Mississippi? And oh, is that, am I right there? Is it, no, this is South Carolina, so this is Georgia and Alabama. But you also have it going on in Louisiana. Yeah, it gets really. Maddening when you got your health being controlled. This is NASA's um, satellite images, December 24. Now I got a comment from a subscriber who lives down in the Myrtle Beach area of South Carolina, and the comment read, We were getting massive spraying Myrtle Beach area and off the coast of South Carolina. Well, you sure were. Christmas Eve, all of the aerosols being laid out right along the coast. And let's see. 
what we got Christmas Day. Ah, oh, yeah, you were getting hit pretty hard down here in, well, Florida and our oceans that they claim it's climate change that are you know, creating all the problems in, in the oceans. And no, it's not man. Don't look. Don't look. Because these are just natural clouds, right? This is Mother Nature, right? Right? No. It is not Mother Nature. Mother Nature does not work in very thin lines, uh, tic-tac-toes, X's, um, grid patterns. No, this is not Mother Nature creating a, a lattice look to her clouds. These are toxic aerosols sprayed into the atmosphere that everybody breathes that all life breathes, the trees are dying from them, animals are getting sick, human beings are getting sick. We don't ever hear our meteorologists talking about this. Hey, the 25th massively sprayed, squared off clouds. Yeah, really? And we just so happen to have this uh, storm that is, well, it's been going on for a couple of days. And it's very, very, very long. And you have all of the aerosols right smack in front of your face. And we can't get through to anybody. Yeah, Mother Nature, perfect right, rectangle. Okie dokie, yeah. Well, let's, let's see. 26th, more aerosol spraying. Look, I'm sorry, you cannot make America great again when you have the population sick. It just doesn't work that way. All of the microwaves, the ripple in this manufactured cloud substance, microwaves. I'll link below to this. It's kind of interesting to just click through the days. Oh, wow. So the 27th, look at this. Well, they lay out the aerosols and they can use the frequencies to create all of us thick, thick cloud covering. Horizon to horizon. No sun for you. People, look. Everything is being controlled already. So, um, no, we're not going to get any of this stopped, and it's going to get worse. And hang on, a cat wants to go outside. Well, you look at the massive microwaves being used. All right. Um, all we can do now is, you know, and it's amazing how much life has changed, right? I mean, I never even thought about my health. It was, I was in fine health. I ran, I ate well. It wasn't anything of a hardship. I just did. I craved really, uh, I craved the foods that sustain health. Everything has changed. Everything has changed. Everything has changed because of psychopaths, narcissists. They ruin, they destroy, they're into destruction. And yeah, we do have far more good people in the world, but we can't seem to make a dent at all. But when you notice, when you see the extent of the geoengineering all over the world. When you go across looking at these satellite images, they are dumping. So uh, the magnitude of toxic dumps on Earth is really extraordinary. And the lies of climate change continue.
yeah, it it's it, it doesn't make me a happy camper that we can't get through to people about the lies. It, they continue, everything just keeps continuing, and it's really pretty maddening. Anyway, yeah, let me hear from you guys, please. How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling okay. How's the weather in your neck of the woods? Are you noticing everything accelerating? And anything else you want to uh, comment about? Ciao, guys.